Hi guys, welcome to this installation guide for the Lee Time 51.2 volts 100 amp hour Complex Edition Lithium Battery. Today, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing your battery in your home backup system. Let's get started. We've prepared some accessories in the box, and here is what we need to connect with battery and inverter. 51.2 volts 100 amp hours Complex Edition Battery communication cable, positive and negative wires, battery brackets and screw, 3,500 watt solar inverter charger, breaker, bus bar, torque wrench. And let's start install this stack battery. To do this, you'll need to remove the screws that are already in place on the battery. Then align the bracket with the holes and use the screws in the accessories package to fasten the bracket with battery, make sure that the brackets on all three corners of the battery are tightened in the same way. Use the same way to the second battery and stack it. After stacked, you will need fixing brackets to make the stack battery stable, and make sure other stack brackets are fixed too. We suggest to use bus bar to connect battery and other components for safety. There are dedicated holes on the side of the battery specifically for the bus bar bracket using the screws to fix the bus bar bracket, and then mount the bus bar on the side of the battery in the same way. Now, let's move on to the wiring. Before we start, make sure you're wearing insulated gloves for safety. Now, remove the protective cap on the battery terminal and connect the negative wire from the battery to the bus bar, so as the positive terminal. Remember to put the protective cap back, and we finish the wiring between batteries. Let's move on to the connection between the battery and the inverter. Open the protective cover on the inverter. Connect the negative wire from the bus bar to the inverter. Then connect the positive wire with a battery switch or breaker to the inverter. Finally, use screws to securely fasten the cover on the bus bar. Next, we need to use communication wire to transfer information between battery and inverter. We prepared type A and B wire since different inverter may use different communication protocol. You can check in the user manual to see which wire fits your need. So we will use type B wire to connect the inverter and the battery via RS-485 port. And please notice the battery connected to inverter with communication wire will be regarded as master battery. Next. Connect the communication cable between the two batteries. Begin by connecting the out port on the master battery to the in port on the next battery. And continue this process for any additional batteries. Here we come to the last step. Set the communication protocol. Turn on the batteries and choose the communication protocol in master battery. Touch the display screen to enter the home page. Click the protocol to select RS-485. Enter the factory password to successfully connect the inverter. The screen will display the lead time brand. Click the upper right toolbar. Can also view the system and parallel information. Now open the breaker. You can check the whole system information in master battery. The battery now is communicated with inverter successfully. You can enjoy your home full of power and no more worry about blackout. Subscribe to us and like this video if you find it helpful. See you next time.